in the early 80s, the government decided to build a dam. Mm. So from where our ancestral home was, and um, we were told to vacate the palace. Mm -hmm. I was young, so my father kind of took out most of the stuff and kept them in stores. And after a decade or something, when we started, we had this land, mm -hmm. we wanted to build a home. So when we were building the home, we started putting everything together, which was all obviously from a palace, so the doors, beams, some parts, parts of the furniture, so mm. which, is, which dates back to that time. So all these old windows and doors are from the old palace that's now underwater because of the dam. Yes. Uh, and, uh, that's it's incredible. It's coming together but, uh, in a different shape. Yeah, that's the part of the palace. It's the main building and then there were buildings around. So, so that was your house on yeah. the water? This is um, 28 July 2001. Mm -hmm. This is when it was out again after being surrounded or some parts of being in water and like how okay, my father so put it. And then eventually, the yeah, eventually the all of it, uh, even like I was mentioning, all the stone was taken out by villagers, this and that. Right. But then all the gates and everything from this, all this, all this stuff is what you see on top. You can see the shapes. The windows, yeah. the doors, everything. Yeah. Built on your Grills, house. everything. On, on and him? Uh, one of the forefathers, my great-grandfather? Yes. That is my great grandfather again on a hunt with some other and thing. There was a so hunting, they painted it. A tiger? Yeah. I like this one. Mm. Oh, I can see you in this one. So this, the head thing, it keeps getting passed on from so this is this I have with me. And then when I become a little older, it'll go to Vehan. On what occasions do you wear this? So when you dress up or you when you attend marriages or any state function. That, of course, is my father in his young days. That was friend. your father? <laughs> Officially, so there's no one who's a Maharaja because the previous person started in 19, after the 40s, independence, the state. But technically, yes, my father is the Maharaja. I'm the next, the next Maharaja. <laughs> these were the palace doors and windows, and all these, uh, the, the the wire mesh uh, windows and all to keep the mosquitoes and flies out. I can recall the memories where they were originally fitted once upon a time. Not all of them, but some of them I can imagine them. Okay, oh, it used to be in the second floor, third floor, fourth floor. This is, there's one. There is this palace, the main palace. That was the main gate to enter the palace. And this is the, my wedding procession, so all the public is in, involved. And that's me, on horseback. I was born just in 1947. That's the year we got independence from the British. When independence arrived, India was a conglomerate of 500 plus states, independent states, ruled by Maharajas and Nawabs and Sultans. And that was then undertaken through peace accords, treaties. It was the handing over of all their powers and their um, rights and everything to merge their particular geographical entities into the Union of India peacefully. I think very ra rare do you find that 500 plus states, you know, doing it peacefully. And in return, they were guaranteed by the constitution certain rights and privileges like, for example, the Privy Purse, and that was abolished by Srimati Indira Gandhi, who became Prime Minister in the 1970s. It's this is your biggest installation work, right? No. Yes, well, it's, <laughs> it's fantastic. Well, it's a structure that we had had built when we were, when we were developing the rest of the space. We were building this um, initially to make a restaurant in. But now, uh, now I think we'll make a studio here. But that, when, whenever we feel low and we feel things are not working out and we feel dejected, then we both come and we sit here. It's our go-to spot. <laughs> this is a really fabulous place for a set. 
In my opinion, we need to keep it simple with our framing. What's amazing is that you can hang anything you like. Oh, they're lovely. Very beautiful. But, uh, I, was thinking about your I was thinking about your story about the underwater palace. And with all these pieces, we can build the old palace and have the water coming in in a big wave. Water coming or like a big wave with all that to make a. It's going to be like this, this size. And like I told you, you're going to be acting out the past telling the story about this flood of water that came and changed your life and brought you to collect all this installation work. Beautiful textiles. This is beautiful too. Ah, oh, with this, we can do anything we want. It's a small version of the ruined house of Surya. Yeah, isn't it? It's beautiful. And this stone is amazing. And that is still this kind of design is like the Palace of Rajasthan. Um, the domes. It's amazing. Oh, look at that. It's incredible. The whole world, including the art installation of memory objects, comes from the family home at the end of an era, the time of the Maharajas. What's interesting is that their history is a symbol of the changing world. I want to use this space as a theater. We're going to create an imaginary landscape and put them in it. I've made the old palace. No, this, this is better. It's nice, isn't it? It's very nice. This is where the big wave will come. Mo is hanging those blue fabrics. A ah, big wave, like a tsunami. Like a tsunami. We should use the costumes from the times of the Maharajas. Then along comes the big wave. As in Udaipur, the Maharajas sought to build their palaces close to the water. In the modern age, water has become an even more valuable commodity than a palace. The one belonging to Saraya's family was sacrificed to build a dam. These are golden um, candles. The um, palace is going, to, is going to get washed away, so we are escaping with um, whatever is most precious which is gold and history and dog and family. Do you know what's the most important thing to save other than the gold and thing is the Maharani? Because otherwise there'd be nothing. Like if it's without the Maharani, what do you do with the gold and the... After, you can't have the following generations. One second. It, it won't go on like that, trust me. Yeah, not like that. Take it out. Yeah, put your, put your hands back, yeah. That's the only way it can go on. Perfect. Yeah. And with the orange, we'll see you clearly because of the blue waves. Yes. No, we'll go see in the trunk. We'll go see some poshaks in the trunk. This one? No. Let's see what's in here. So you must. Oh, look. That one. Yeah. You found it. So this is Maharani. Yeah, okay. It's incredible, the design has many years of work. Yeah, it is. I got 256 saris from my mother when I got married. 266? 256. Do you want to see one of this pink one, which is, uh, it's my wedding one. I didn't choose this, she chose it and she sent it. In India, it's like that. The bride doesn't quite choose her clothes. The bridegroom's mother chooses the clothes and sends it. I wore it for my wedding and then I wore it for Surya's sister's wedding and that's it, now I will. I will put it in an installation now. Hello, Himmat. 
Bana coffee. We started doing hospitality like a lot of the people from our community because we've known it, um, I think, for generations. Um, the warrior clans have been known for being hospitable, for inviting lots of people to their homes and having um, beautiful settings and great food. And, and so a lot of the people have taken to that as a means of um, keeping up their lifestyles, keeping up their palaces and forts, which otherwise they would not be able to do. It had thus fund the arts, but now it's there. It's like a like an Eiffel Tower, right in the center. This is this is the center of my house, and they've just built it. It is most hazardous for children between uh, 12 and 14. I intend to send my child away, but what about all the other children here? I'm going to go to court and fight it, and making sure, like the kings did, that their people are looked after, and that I have to fight it for everyone actually here with me. Because, um, because it is, it is our legacy, in a way, to look out for the people who, uh, who are loyal to us. This is India today. Yes, this is India today, and I think, uh, um, I think I'm also India today, and so I'm not going to sit and I'm not going to let them just do as they please. The one by the garden needs leaning forward. It's the Maharani. Yeah. So I'm getting bangles and that's it, right? See, Baba? With this one, you go like that. Here, look up there at the wave. <gasps> because here, the big wave is coming. So you save the object because you're the family that is leaving with the Maharaja. So you're saving the memory and gold of the family. <laughs> Too much on the hexagon. About good. Voilà. She, you want her to put it on the treasure? I want to see the hands. It's not working, the light's not good. There's too much shade on the right side of Baba. One, one, two, three, perfect. Okay. One, don't laugh, don't laugh. One. Two, three. That's it. Perfect. Superb. Superb. Like that. Ooh. Okay. This could take a while. It's hard to get it set up. Go ahead, Momo. We'll try it like that. Ritu's position is all wrong. She's buried under everything. You must be like this. See? You're comfortable. You sleep like this in front of the camera, looking up a little so I can see your eyes. Some eyes. Two, three. Good. Since I don't have enough light to shoot it all in one session, I'm doing a series of images that I will then superimpose. For example, starting from this first picture with Soraya and Ritu, I'll gradually add bits of photographs from different shots to erase the light and create my scene. So the photo will be composed of a lot of different photographs. What I love is the transition with the fabrics and the foreground, the clouds and the cotton blending with the metal. It's a real drama with a metallic sky. I end my trip with Ritu and Soraya, who for me embody a contemporary and creative India firmly rooted in its past history. 
I love it when my imagination chimes with that of a country and fuels my work. The fact of being a photographer allows me to have these unique encounters.